Before you get started with this recipe, you want to have your sweet potato already roasted. That makes it the easiest. So just prick some holes in the potato, put it in an air fryer for an hour at 400, or you could just do this in a regular oven for an hour at 400 or 90 minutes, whatever, just until it's real soft, depending on the size of the sweet potato. So then I grab some dates. I usually wash those, open them up, take those pits out, discard the pits, and put, them, um, put the dates in your blender. Look how fast I am. This is amazing. <laughs> put your milk in and then get interrupted by your family. La, 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 la. Here goes some honey. Is it because you're wet? Okay, go change your clothes. Now I have to take off my beautiful dress that I was going to wear to the party. You can put it in the dryer and then you can wear it. Okay. Careful, Mads. But we need to wash it first. No, you don't. Try this again, shall we? Okay, finish putting milk in the blender. <laughs> Get your peanut butter out. Put some of that in there, yum. You can use any kind of nut butter for this. Pour some extract, some vanilla extract in. And then this is my favorite carob powder. I get it on Amazon. There's a link in the description. If you're using cocoa powder instead, definitely reduce the amount that you're using to like a quarter of what the recipe says. Carob doesn't have any caffeine, so um, it's fine to have more. And it tastes delicious. Throw in your oatmeal, your baking powder, and then you're going to peel off all the skin of the sweet potato. I think you could probably leave it on if you wanted, but I haven't tested that. You can try it if you like. This one I'm going to break in half so we don't have too much sweet potato in there, but you could put it all in. Make sure your hot flash fan is in position and then <laughs> start blending. Uh, this is a pretty thick mixture, so actually I needed to pause here so I could go get the little tamper thing and push it down while I was blending it to get it nice and mixed together. I actually like it a little bit chunky, by the way. You could make it totally smooth if you wanted, but I like it a little chunky, so here's how I had it. Reposition your hot flash fan, of course. And you start spooning the mixture into the muffin tin. I, uh oh, yeah, little inquiry here. Let's see. <laughs> so in the video, I forgot to show spraying, um, like greasing the muffin tins. It's a really important step, but I forgot to do it here. Um, it did make a very big difference. So <laughs> make sure you grease your muffin tin somehow. I usually use spray avocado oil, but you can use whatever you have. Make sure the chef gets a taste, because these are vegan, so hey, you can eat the batter. These are my favorite little mini chocolate chips. We always have these on hand in the house for the girls. This, I, this is my favorite part of the whole muffins. Just throw some of those on top. Yum, yum, yum. Okay. Make sure you get all of them, too. You don't want to be without chocolate chips on some of them. Want, want. Okay, uh, throw these puppies in the oven for about 25 minutes. They're going to come out nice and soft and fluffy-ish, um, but still quite dense. Yeah. La, 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 la. Hello, queen. You look so beautiful. <laughs> you, know, you gotta take it off? Yeah. Yeah. All right, they're done. Let's make sure we get our gloves on. And turn off the oven. And here we go, we're gonna take them out. Look how beautiful these are. They have fluffed up a little bit too. But like I said, they're super dense, which I think is really yummy and gooey and delicious. And yeah, there we go. That's the stuff. Yum. Ooh, I hope you liked those. And these are whole foods, plant-based, no animal products whatsoever, super healthy. I eat these as um, a snack. I eat them when I'm on the road and I don't have anything to eat. I These would be great road trip food. They're great to go in kids' lunches. Um, and I also like to have them after any type of meal as a dessert too. I eat two, three, four of them at a time because they're super good for you so I don't feel guilty at all. This recipe is, um, really forgiving the measurements are not super important either you could add some protein powder even to these if you wanted to have a little bit more protein you could add chocolate chips into the middle dried fruit you could do so many different things with these with this recipe as a base you could freeze them individually and take some out if you don't want to have them out all the time there's a recipe for this in the cheat sheets and down below and we're making we make a little recipe card for you too that you can just cut out you can print it and cut it out and have it <laughs> and have it in your kitchen for whenever you wanna make these again. I've also put a link for the products that I mentioned in this video. Let me know what you think of this one down below in the comments. Let's chat about it. That's it for now, see you in the next one, bye.